uh, good morning student in this lecture we will discuss resistance cm welding process before starting the uh, resistance cm welding i want to tell you the definition of resistance welding processes Re uh, what is resistance welding resistance welding is a group of welding processes in wherein coal sands is produced by the heat obtained from the resistance of the work to the flow of electric current in a circuit of which work is a part and by the application of pressure and no filler metal is needed yani filler metal ki koi avashyakta nahi hoti hai aur jo hamare resistance welding mein jo heat generated hoti hai uska formula hota hai capital h equal to i square rt yahan par capital h होता है हीट जनरेटेड आई होता है करंट आर होता है रेजिस्टेंस और टी फॉर टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट द रेजिस्टेंस सीम वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस सीम वेल्डिंग इज ए रेजिस्टेंस वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस वेयर इन कोल सेंस एट द फेइंग सरफेसेस इज प्रोड्यूस बाय द हीट ऑब्टेन फ्रॉम द रेजिस्टेंस टू इलेक्ट्रिक करंट थ्रू द वर्क पार्ट्स held uh, together under pressure by electrodes the resulting weld is a series of overlapping resistance spot uh, welds uh, made progressively along a joint by rotating uh, the circular electrodes uh, now uh, seam welding is a resistance welding process uh, of continuous joining of overlapping sheets by passing them between two rotating electrodes and uh, seam welding is high speed and clean uh, process uh, which is used when continuous tight weld is required uh, for examples uh, fuel tanks fuel tanks ki welding ke liye drums domestic radiators and gasoline tanks hote hain hamare aur automobile mufflers hote hain in sab ki welding hum resistance seam welding se kar sakte hain jahan par bhi continuous uh, joining ki baat hogi कंटिन्यूस जॉइंट हमें चाहिएगा एक लगातार जॉइनिंग चाहिएगी वहाँ हम सीम वेल्डिंग का यूज कर सकते हैं जनरली अगर हम बात करते हैं एडवांटेजेस के बारे में तो हम कह सकते हैं इट कैन प्रोड्यूस गैस टाइट और लिक्विड टाइट जॉइंट्स सो इट इज यूज फॉर वेल्डिंग ऑफ फ्यूल टैंक्स क्योंकि ये गैस टाइट और लिक्विड टाइट जॉइंट्स प्रोवाइड कराता है तो इसीलिए फ्यूल टैंक्स हो गया गैसोलाइन गैसोलिन टैंक्स हो गया इनकी वेल्डिंग के लिए हम जो सीम वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस है उसको यूज करते हैं और ओवरलैप कैन बी लेस देन फोर स्पॉट और प्रोजेक्शन वेल्डिंग अगर हम कंपेयर करते हैं अदर टाइप्स जो होते हैं रेजिस्टेंस वेल्डिंग के स्पॉट और प्रोजेक्शन वेल्डिंग से अगर नाउ आई विल टेल यू द प्रिंसिपल ऑपरेशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस सीम वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस द सीम वेल्डिंग इज द सिमिलर टू स्पॉट वेल्डिंग एक्सेप्ट दैट सर्कुलर Uh, rolling electrodes are uh, uh, used uh, to produce a uh, continuous air tight seam of overlapping welds uh, overlapping welds are produced by the rotating electrodes and a uh, regularly interrupted current the work piece to be seam welded are cleaned overlapped uh, suitably and placed between uh, the two circular electrodes jo hamare jo circular electrodes hote hain wo कॉपर के इलेक्ट्रोड्स होती है यानी करंट कंडक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड्स यूज कर, करते हैं विच क्लैम्प द वर्क पीस टूगेदर बाई द इलेक्ट्रोड फोर्स दोनों इलेक्ट्रोड के बीच में जो पीसीज हमारे होते हैं ओवरलैप पीसीज को होल्ड किया जाता है अंडर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रेशर ए करंट इम्पल्स इज अप्लाइड थ्रू द रोलर्स टू द मटेरियल इन द कॉन्टेक्ट विद द हीट जनरेटेड मेक्स ए मेटल प्लास्टिक एंड द प्रेशर फ्रॉम द इलेक्ट्रोड Uh, completes the weld as the first current impulse is applied the power driven circular uh, electrodes are set in a ro uh, rotation and the work pieces uh, steadily move forward uh, throughout the welding period the electrodes uh, revolve and uh, uh, the passes through them at a specific speed the current applied uh, to welding electrode is uh, intermittent uh, that is it is a on for a definite length of a time and then off for another definite and uh, short period if the current is uh, put off 
and on quickly a continuously fusion zone made up overlapping uh, interface is obtained and the process is known as stitch welding on the other hand it is individually spot welds are obtained by constant and regularly time interruptions of welding current the process is known as uh, roll or spot welding. Roll welding is uh, simply joints to workpieces where stitch welding produces gas tight and liquid tight joints. There are two seam welding methods. One involves uh, continuous motion and other uh, intermediate motion uh, during the welding uh, operation. In continuous mo motion method, the electrode rotate at a constant speed and the current flow continuously uh, or it is uh, interrupted. It in uh, intermediate motion welding the electrodes travel the resistance necessary for each successive weld and then stop the current is then switched on and the weld made uh, the whole process uh, being controlled automatically continuous uh, continuous uh, motion is used uh, for welding workpiece less than uh, 4.5 mm thick and intermediate motion above 4.5 mm thick uh, the rotating welding uh, Electrodes are cool to prevent overheating uh, with consequence uh, with dishing and replacement problems are reduced to a minimum moreover employing water cooling jets immediately be, uh, before and after the electrodes reduce warping of the materials being uh, joined. So this is the working principle of seam uh, welding process. If you, uh, we are talking about the seam welding equipment then we can say that the power supply uh, it is a, a welding transfer capable of supplying low voltage high ampere current and uh, is similar to one used in sport welding machines so power supply jo hai isme use jo hogi wo same aisi hoti hai jaise hamara uh, sport welding mein humne use kiya hai and electrode force and support uh, electrode force is mounted on a supporting arm the supporting element can be adjusted uh, uh, can be adjustable and the upper electrode is mounted uh, to and uh, insulated from the operating head that is uh, actuated uh, by a direct acting air or hydraulic cylinder the operating head uh, applies the electrode force and another equipment uh, that has been used in seam welding process is electrode or workpiece drive uh, by uh, electrode or workpiece drive and uh, now i will tell you <coughs> some disadvantages of seam welding process because I have already told you what is the uh, major advantages uh, if we talk about the disadvantage we can say that it is difficult to weld thickness greater than 3 mm 3 mm se <coughs> agar jada thickness ki sheets hai to uh, there is a difficulty uh, malab sa humare saamne kya hai difficulty aati hai welding karne mein or a change in the design of electrode wheels is required to avoid obstructions along the path of wheels during the welding and uh, now uh, i will tell you uh, which type of the material uh, we can weld it uh, by uh, seam welding process satisfactorily uh, low carbon and uh, high carbon and low alloy steels stainless and many coated steels aluminium and its alloy and uh, nickel and its alloys magnesium alloys these are the materials that can be welded with the help of resistance seam welding process this is the basically diagram of resistance seam welding process uh, these are the uh, upper electrode wheels and this is the lower electrode wheels this is power supply that has been uh, connected to upper wheel and uh, lower electrode wheel uh, these are the both pieces that have been to be welded uh, this is the one seat and this is another seat and this this is the produce the continuous weld ye jo aap dekh rahe hain ye continuous weld produce hota hai uh, resistance seam welding ke तो ये बेसिकली डायग्राम है इसका अगर हम एप्लीकेशंस की बात करते हैं मैंने वैसे आपको एप्लीकेशंस के बारे में बताया है कि ग्रिथ वेल्ड कैन बी मेड इन राउंड एंड स्क्वायर और रेक्टेंगुलर पार्ट्स एक्सेप्ट फॉर कॉपर एंड हाई कॉपर एलोइज मोस्ट अदर मेटल्स ऑफ कॉमन इंडस्ट्रियल यूज कैन बी स्टीम वेल्डेड एंड बी साइड लैब जॉइंट्स एंड सीम वेल्डेड कैन बी यूज फॉर मेकिंग बट सीम वेल्ड्स टू सो दिस इज अ वेरी good welding process as compared to other uh, resistance welding process for example sport and projection and precision so uh, thank you uh, very much